I'm going to listen to Kamasi Washington, Fearless Movement. Certainly an album of the month and potentially an album of the year. It is just epic. I'm agnostic, but if there's a higher being, they like music like this and they make music like this. Track one, Les Arnu, straight into a prayer, spoken word, and then the music opens up to the heavens. It's Alice Coltrane, it's Charlie Mingus, it's probably most obviously Miles Davis, Bitches Brew, that era, but it's bang up to date. And just such a pleasure on the ear. Track two, Asher the First, and what a track two. What a perfect track two that is, uncompromising. It's timeless. They'll be listening to this in a thousand years and still think it's amazing. I genuinely believe that. It is like so little music at the moment. Listen to it. Track three, Computer Love. Not a Kraftwerk cover, sadly. That would have been just too perfect. A lovely sort of princey ballady. It's got such lovely ups and downs, this. You know, this is a mellow listen that everybody would like. Not too taxing, but so welcome it. Track four, The Visionary, is just like the doors of heaven opening up to you. And then track five, Get Lit. Uh, with George Clinton so yeah you've got that P-Funk feel which again fits in so well with the rest of the album different but the same quite Kendrick I suppose track six Dream State with Andre 3000 apparently I don't think he raps um, that I remember beautiful it's like like uh, Herbie Hancock chameleon sort of headhunters era but with a nice little boop, 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 electronics in the background Track seven together, maybe for the first time not fully engaged, but sort of happy of the rest. Uh, whereas track eight, The Garden Path, you can't help but be engaged. Another favourite, uh, this and track two, back to the heavens, back to hands in the air, mind in the air. Track nine, Road to Self, KO, the obligatory, and it is written into jazz law that you have to do the slow jam where you every single band member gets a little bit. I particularly like the drum solo. I always look forward to a drum solo being a solo, but what a band, what a sound. Track 10, Interstellar Peace, The Last Dance, what a thing of beauty this is. Could be an old TV 60s detective theme tune, you know, a really cool one that's, that's just brilliant. It's just amazing music that opens up the mind. Track 11, Lines in the Sand, more stunningly beautiful jazz, you'll be not surprised to hear. I think I first became aware of him by uh, Flying Lotus, and this track reminds me of him quite a lot, which is a good thing, and you should check him out. Nearly 90 minutes, but it flies by this 12th and final track, Prologue. How do you end the perfect album? You end it perfectly. And this really is what a heart pounding finish. You know, you can imagine it live. I hope they play this last because I will be seeing them hopefully in Munich. Just amazing. My overall review of Kamisi Washington, Fearless Movement, is that it could well very be my favourite album of the year so far. It's a 90 minute epic, fun, sad, happy, every emotion comes out in this and it's amazing.